This video is going to demonstrate AutoCAD Plant 3D start to finish. It'll cover PNID, 3D piping, isometric, bill of material, customization, and orthographic view generation. We'll start with our PNID. We'll write a line by selecting secondary line from our palette. Nominate size spec service for our line. The count field is an automatic increment value. Place the tag. Place a valve, butterfly valve. Valve breaks the line. Inherits data from the line size is inherited from the line, BV is preset, and the count is an automatic increment. And we have in our equipment model. Add nozzle. And our nozzle editing dialog allows us to nominate all the parameters for our nozzle orientation, elevation, size, spec. Ours will be a 100 nominal bore, 150 pound flat face. Now we'll open our piping model. We have a a palette that represents all the componentry within the nominated piping spec on the right hand side of the screen. We're not going to use that, we're going to run our line using PNRD line list view and drag and drop the physical parameters for our line by selecting the items from the PNRD. Place item, select node on our nozzle and then drag our line. Final placement of the line isn't critical at this stage because we can grip and drag our line into a final location at a future, st future time. Gaskets, flanges, bolts are placed for us. Select and place our valve. And now we'll run the isometric for this line. Select our line from our line list, final isometric. We tap to our isometric drawing tab, wait for our line to generate. Double click to open. And we have spool tags, physical dimensions, connectivity, bill of material. Let's have a look at the data that we've accumulated for this line. You can see that we have area unassigned tabs. That's because we haven't assigned an area to each of our drawings, so we'll do that now. Now you can see that our tabs are, are labelled equipment piping steel. Let's open piping and let's have a look at line 27 which is the line we just routed and there's all the elements for our line.
fittings, valves, pipe, welds, gaskets, bolts. We also have a report that's available under Data Manager, a line list, equipment list, and valve list. Now these reports are customizable. It may be that you'd like to add procurement information to your report. So we'll add a field to collect this data. So let's add procurement to our hand valves. So we open up project setup, navigate to our hand inline items hand valve class, click the add field button, name the field, and we'll make it a, a list field, and the two values in the list will be yes and no. Preset default will be no. You can see that procurement isn't there as yet. Modify. Open up our selectable properties. There's procurement ticket. We'll just move it up into a reasonable position. And now procurement data is available in our report. OK. We'll go back to the pin ID. Right click on our valve properties. There's procurement field available to us. As this valve was previously entered into the PNID, the default value now was set, so we'll set that now. We can open our project data. Project reports, valve list, and you can see that procured has been added. And yes, that we just entered into our data is available. And before we export our orthographic views, let's just add a simple pipe support onto this line. A U-bolt. And we'll place some secondary steel under it. Use Australian standard, 50 mil equal angle. I'm not being particular about the location at this stage. There's a concrete column that this pipe is wrapping around and we'll bolt this secondary steel to that concrete column. And steel is parametric, it can be stretched. Now let's create an orthographic view. Give our orthographic drawing a name. When you create an orthographic view, 3D puts a cube around the extents of your current working model. You can then nominate and be placed on. 
scale. Files that go to make up your model. And there's the plan on our plant. Now there are some additional tools. Adjacent view is one such tool, it's quite handy. So we can just nominate that we'd like to have a front view in our existing view. Call it elevation. And we can place that below the plan. Views can be clipped by stretching the cube that bounds our model space, or they can be clipped by nominating x, y, z coordinates. And the annotation tool, all the components carry their intelligence from the model. can be annotated in the orthographic drawings. And orthographic views can be updated to represent changes in the model. So that's the extent of this demonstration. It's a little bit longer than some of the previous ones, but it's taken us from start to finish of Plant 3D. Thank you.